In examining the forearm and the wrist, we start by flexing the elbow. Once the elbow is flexed, we can examine pronation of the forearm and supination of the forearm. And it has to be at an elbow flex position because if it isn't and there's pathology here or there is a congenital difference such as a synostosis, children will compensate for the lack of forearm motion with rotation through their shoulder. So the only way you can eliminate that shoulder motion is by flexing the elbow and then examining the forearm.